Riddle me this, Batman. All right, so in 2018, there was something called Jumpstart Maui Project, all right? This is in Hawaii. In Maui, and it was to be a smart grid, 15-minute city, all right? Well, here's the thing. In this, in this zone, right, where they want to build their city, what they fail to mention is there's a bunch of, like, middle-class poor people, uh, indigenous people, like, people who are natives. They don't want to sell their land. They don't want to give it up. They're happy. They're like, you know what, chief? No, it's good. I'm great. I don't, I don't want your money. And then it's like, something just came in. And, you know, they call it like, you know, I find it so weird because, hold on, I'll get to the part, but they call it like, uh, hurricane force wind, with humidity, they call it all this type of stuff. And immediately, the FBI is there, okay? When is the FBI ever involved, like, that quickly when it comes to something of a clim like climate crisis? Like, the last time... We had a hurricane, or a major flood, or anything like that, or tornadoes. Did the FBI show up? No, the FBI, they don't come. It's like, oh, I don't even understand. So they have complete internet blockouts. You know, um, their sirens were turned off. Not only that, you have the locals being propositioned by realtors and investors when they're saying like, oh, it's complete blo like blackout right now. Nobody can get through. But how are, like, investors, especially Black Rock and Vanguard, oh, I hate saying this, because, like, I've already had, like, two of my videos striped. So if I get one more, I'm going to get booted. But it's, like, to me, it's, like, God, I'm not even doing anything wrong. I just see, like, what I see. Like, it's, it's kind of weird how there's a bunch of millionaires, Jeff Bezos, you know, Ob fuck uh, you know oprah you know she has all this land there and it's amazing because all of them none of their land was touched and a lot of people okay just let it put it into retrospect a lot of people are like oh chemtrails those are just like you know conspiracy theory they're not real you know blah 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 blah, blah. and then what did bill gates get approved to do to block the sun to combine climate change. All right, so we see these fires in Maui where they have already heavily invested into this land, right? There is a whole part of land that for some reason just miraculously avoided these fires. And it was only in areas that people were refusing to sell their land. Um, uh, you know, come on, it's like, it's really fucking evil if you think about it. It's like, you have this elite, uh, elite, elite ruling class, right? And they're telling us all what we have to do. Like, don't have babies, you know, eat bugs and get an electric car or ride your bike or, you know, don't use your AC in the day and we should just have rolling blackouts. And we're not going to use gas anymore. We're not going to use propane. It's all going to be electric off of windmills and solar panels. And the government's going to get kickbacks. And it's like it's a never-ending fucking money hustle. It's a wealth transfer. Just like right now, when you look into the infrastructure. Uh, infrastructure. Uh, sorry. In, it makes me so mad. Infrastructure Act. It literally has nothing to do with the infrastructure infrastructure of America except broadband like 5g to where like everything is smart city capable like there's no roads there's no nothing in the infrastructure act there's like all these provisions for all these things that nobody signed up for and then we're learning about it and we're like really and then and that's what i tell people like why do you always believe whatever the headline says like anybody can come up with a good what do they call it clickbait right okay so anybody can come up with like a good liner you know make something sound good it's called being a salesman that's what politicians are they're salesmen like ugh, the media they're salesmen all, that's all they do is sell 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 and all we do is consume 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 
and we're either on the side that's consuming like damn this shit is fucked up this shit is so corrupt like how could they do this to one person like trump's on like his what millionth indictment right before election just like just like what happened before not only that but the whole thing with the uh voting machines the, the truth's coming out and it's like dude y'all been going after him for so long what's gonna happen with it nothing just like our southern border i remember since it was bush and then clinton and then obama all of them talk about the southern border they're like oh we got to do something about illegal immigration da, 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 da. none of them do anything like literally it's been going on for over 10 years but what's happened what they call it like you know a great replacement theory like, it's, it's just a conspiracy, right? How many conspiracies have come true? How many have come true? And if you live in, like, certain demographics, you will understand what I'm saying because people in New York are learning that very quickly. That it happens quick. Like, before you know it, you're like, whoa, shit, where, where am I? Like, this, this is weird. Because it's happening so fast because you have to think about it. There's people like Soros and Open Society and the Gates Foundation, they're literally supporting, like, even Alex Soros said, because he took over George, uh, George Soros' estate. He's like, I'm going to come after conservatives, you know, I'm even more evil than my dad. I'm going to do this, this, and that, and that. But he's banned in his own country that he's from. He's, like, banned in all these other countries. But America's like, yay, we love George Soros. Let's get in TFL, let's get BLM, let's go burn some shit. Fuck those Americans. It's like they just hate everything that's normal you know so you, you have this part that that's fueling this but you also know that both democrats and republicans are in on it at the same time so we're watching all this crazy stuff happen like you know eric adams in new york mayor adams he's like you know what you should let let some silence over here we'll pay you let them come sit with you you got the room, we're overwhelmed. It's a crisis. And I'm like, wait a minute. You just said it wasn't a crisis. It was a myth. And it was a right-wing conspiracy. So now it is a problem. So it's a problem now. Oh my god. Like, it's never ending. Like, it's it, all the conspiracies come true. And here I am. Do-do-do-do. Like, when is this shit gonna end? Like, for all, like, I wish the World Economic Forum would just come out and be like, look. This is what we're gonna do. This is our plan. Whether you like it or not, you know, we can use like geoengineering, we can use HARP and DARPA, and we can use geoengineering, and we're just going to take your shit out. Like, so you can sell to us, or you can, you know, go against us, but go against the grain, the World Economic Forum is going to take you out. And then I was thinking about, all right, oh, sorry, this is very comfortable. Like, I was thinking about it earlier, like, fuck, am I going to have to sell out to these people too? So, like, what is our future? Like, you're either part of the World Economic Forum or you're just evil and damned and, like, you're going to be cut off from society. Because we're seeing what they're doing in Maui right now. They're cutting off supplies and then they even denied Oprah. But, I mean, we're talking, this is a global thing. Like, there's mass migration going on globally. Our food supply, like, look at all the food factories, all these other things that have burnt down. You have all these train derailments with all these chemicals. You have, you know, overseas, like the government saying, oh, for climate change, or even in America, you got to kill off 20% of your cattle. Or, you know, you basically they're calling for land confiscation, all in the name of climate change, right? Like the whole Maui fires, climate change. I don't see it. I, I'm, I'm sorry, but like, how does a whole strip of famous people's mansions not go up and why is it that there's investors right now be these people can't even find their missing or deceased loved ones and they're already there trying to buy up their land it's just to me it's so fucking disgusting i'm just so sick of it all it's like oh my god y'all get your shit together and even with this whole trump indictment thing okay so they want to talk shit about trump okay madonna threatened the life of a president. Kathy Griffin held up 
a decapitated head of Trump with blood. You know, just like, uh, what was it, Snoop Dogg? He did a rap video of assassinated. Like, all these celebrities, all these people, like Nancy Pelosi, all these other, oh, the, the squad, they all come out talking about doing all these evil things toward Trump. But if Trump's like, you know what? You're not my friend. I don't like you anymore. I mean, I don't understand. You know, and like the 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 more they go after him, the more people love him. I mean, if you think about it, we've been dealing with this corruption, and usually, like every empire, like throughout history, it has a longevity. Like there's a certain point where people are just fed up. And if you go on Twitter. You know, you go on, like, a lot of these social media outlets, it, it speaks volume. Because a lot of people are not cool with Barack Obama or Michelle Obama. Most people are like, yeah, we're done with you. Like, you sold us out. So I feel like, you know, the, the Democrats are going to have to get, like, really desperate on this point. And I'm thinking, like, because they're, they're trying to get Michelle Obama to run. But, yeah, nobody really likes her. I, I think, like, honestly... If she were to just come out and be like, yeah, I identify as this and me and Brock are this or that. Because, you know, that's the whole trend, you know. And if you say anything, you could possibly go to jail. Some, you know, states, countries are banning free speech or misgendering or certain things like that. So it's like you really got to be careful these days. So, if it, so when a lot of people are like, oh, we got this, that, it's like, no. Uh, COVID was kind of just like a warm up. It was to see, all right, it was an IQ test. It, it, it really was. It, it was an IQ test because it's like, they, like I picked it up, like, hmm, I can, I can go to Walmart, you know, I'm like, no, you know what? I can't say anything because I just got one of my videos removed. I'm not saying shit about this, whatever. Go get your COVID vaccines, boosters. Whatever you feel that is fit for you, what you need to do, because there is a triple threat coming this fall, where right now there is a new variant, so be extra, extra cautious right now, and you should listen to, you know, the CDC and the WHO, and make sure whatever they're telling you to do, you know, you really take their advice seriously, because it, it is, you know, life or death. It's life or death for some people. Molly, stop! Sorry. So it is like life, <laughs> it is like life or death for some people. So, okay, no misinformation there. God damn. So it's like, this is what I mean. Like, I have to sit here and like, literally, I can't just talk. Because I got these people going through my videos. Oh, you can't do this, can't do that. It's like, oh my god. Like, is it never ending? No, I don't think so. I don't think it's ever going to end. And, like, Mayor Adams, okay, Mayor McAdams, all right, so, he has this uh, immigration crisis, okay, so he was also given, like, half a billion dollars in funding, right, so who did the funding go to? It was for a no-bid contract, yeah, no bid, meaning he chose it, nobody bid for it, nothing, no-bid contract, sorry, it's like the lighting's making my head feel this, or whatever, I don't give a shit. So anyways, no big contract, okay? No big contract. So he just gives it to whoever he wants, and it's almost for like half a billion dollars. So I'm looking into it, and it's like called um, DocGo, D-O-C-G-O, DocGo. And sure enough, BlackRock and Vanguard, <laughs> stakeholders. So it's like Soros brings all these people here right soros and the democrats and clinton foundation like all these people they're like all these celebrities they're like oh my god help us get this person across the border and they're gonna get a free meal and oh my god there's there's these you know what do they call them bayous or like these little what do they call them the little round floaty things they have a salt in the middle and they're just slaughtering the migrants i'm like no dude it's called a deterrent it's illegal. Like, just, there's a port of entry. Nobody's making you do this. So you have, the common sense would be like, look at the root cause, people. Look at the root cause. Root cause. How are these people getting here? How are these people getting here? How are they getting there? Who are the attorneys defending this? Who are the legislators saying that this is not illegal? 
Like, it, and I watched Johnny Day Fiance, and I'm wondering, why do these people go through all this? It's just smuggling the fucking southern border. And it's like, you know, you have to have a deterrent. If you were to try to walk into another country, they'd straight up fucking shoot you in the head. You're dead. Like, they're, they're not going to play with you. They're going to be like, oh, we're going to give you free room and board. And we're going to pay for your college education. And we're going to take care of your kids. And we're going to get you housing. And then you have people that come here. And they're like, you know, I'm not accepting this. This isn't good enough. And then you've got companies who are getting big, no-bid contracts like BlackRock and Vanguard, which are all connected to, like, the Hillary Clown, or Hillary, yeah, Hillary Clown, for real. Sorry, I'm, I'm used to being on Twitter. I haven't, I haven't done a video of her. Okay, so the Hillary Foundation, I, I call it the Hillary Clown. But anyways, it's her, it's always Bill Gates, George Soros, Alex Soros, Open Society, it's always like these certain people who are always in it together. Follow the money. Follow the money with everything that's going on. But, you know, the sad thing is, is while most people are like just sitting back and they're thinking like, oh, this is happening to me or oh, this is that. It's like, yeah, it's literally happening. You're, you're just too comfortable to see it. Not only that, it's not right in your area yet because people are like watching you know, all these high-end areas being, like, looted and, you know, people stealing and doing all that. And the main thing people are saying, oh, they got insurance. They got insurance. Yeah, that's why insurance is so hard to afford. Not only that, a lot of these businesses, you know, they are they have the state legislators saying that they can't go after them. They can't stop them. They can't really do anything. If it's under 1000 got to let them go. And if you try to get it back from them, you're going to jail. So it's like everything's kind of set up against you. So I just don't understand any of this. And then that right there is why businesses will close down and leave those areas because they're losing money. So those towns will dry up and they're all going to be gone. And the, the people that can't afford to leave, well, that's a grim fucking reality if you think about it. But a lot of people don't think that far ahead. They only think like next week or like a couple days from now. But in reality, you really need to think ahead. Because I was in Whole Foods the other day. And I had to like scan your palm. I was like, oh god, this is so fucking creepy. Like, oh, like, oh, and my stomach dropped. And I was like, fuck, man. Just like the microchips, all that kind of stuff. And it's not like I do anything wrong. I just, I just, why do I have to do all that? Just like, fuck, man. And like, part of me wishes that like a lot of these younger kids would see it. Because, you know, Elon Musk came out with the orb. And, you know, they came out with uh, World Coin. And, you know, go to orb, scan your eyes, you know, World Coin. Get, you know, $2,000 for free. So people are just lined up, scan your eyes. And that's how they normalize things. Scan your hand. Scan your eyes. And then before you know it, you're so comfortable with that, it's let me microchip you. But we have like all these 5G towers going up everywhere. We're constantly like sprayed with aluminum, barium, and all these like heavy metals. So it's like we are frequency beings. So once they get all, you know, when they, well, like they're, they're saying they're going to dim the sun. You know, because of climate change, of course, climate change, climate change, we got to do a deal with climate change. So they're going to dim it, they're going to spray the skies with something that's basically foil to reflect the sun. I mean, come on, does anybody like ever think like, this just sounds fucking crazy. Not only that, what are we breathing in? Not only that, like, dude, like, so chemtrails are real, you know what I mean? So if you kind of like look at the history, oh, I don't know where I was going with this, but... It's like, fuck. And this guy's everywhere. And it's like, he's everywhere. We can't escape Bill Gates. Him, Klaus Schwab, it's like, this is what they're doing. And there's nothing we can do about it because of climate change. You know? Gotta, we gotta dim the sun because it's too hot. And that's why, like, right now, it's not like, well, no, they're coming out with a new COVID fear. But we also, Biden signed over our sovereignty to the WHO. So the next pandemic or epidemic, the WHO 
has complete right and uh, the UN over how we handle it. So say we have like another epidemic pandemic, um, America doesn't decide the who does, who the UN too. And who is the who in the UN with World Economic Forum? Like, dude, the World Economic Forum is taking over. Oh my God, it sucks, dude. It's fucking shitty. It's shitty. It's like, fuck, man. I don't want any of this. And you see what they're doing worldwide. Like, they're ruining everything with fake meat. You see people doing videos on how they're, like, cooking chicken from, like, Walmart. But it's, like, real stringy and it's not normal. It's just weird, you know? And this shit's going on. Like, it's worldwide. It's world fucking wide. And how does Obama chef drowned, who is a good swimmer, and, you know, the records are lost, you know, another, he doesn't comment on it, but a social justice warrior dies, he comments on that. Then he comments on the Maui fires. And then, you know, it's like, Clinton had a chef that drowned too. It's like, god damn, like, does anybody ever hold these people accountable? Or is it just like, okay, they're like the mob, they're like the mafia, and we all know who they are, so we just really, we all know. And we're like, yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know. And we're like all secretly in code talking about it, but we can't really talk about it because, because I really feel like that's what's going on. And it's sad and it's sick. And it's like gas, like $4 a gallon now. And I'm like, fuck my brains, dude. I, I just, I'm just so done. Like, I'm done. I mean, fuck, you look at like, uh, in like Minneapolis. Oh my God, what is going on in Minneapolis? Hold on, I wrote it down. I wrote it down, I really did. Okay, so until I find that. Okay, so do you know now that um, in certain states, you don't even have to be a legal citizen to be a cop now. You, you could be a uh, asylum seeker, refugee, and you can become a police officer. So, I mean, that's that's safe, right? And But also, like, what the fuck happened with, like, the coke in the White House? Whose was it? Like, where did it go? Like, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Like, whose was it? And why hasn't Epstein been charged with anything? And like, how do you notice, like, the entire world, like in France, Sweden, uh, in Ireland, in Scotland, even in like South America, in Niger, and like all these countries, basically every country in the world, is going through mass migration and it's all turning toward I did, actually did a video about this a couple years ago it's actually turning toward Islam with Christianity and Judaism all in one um, and it's called Krishlam uh, C H R I S T L like Krishlam wait why can I spell Krishlam all right it's already open in Dubai it's already open in New York the Pope already accepted it. Just like um, in Maui. What was the name of that place? Um, hold on, I wrote it down. Jumpstart Maui Project. Okay, like that started in 2018, right? So right after lockdowns, uh, Sylvester Turner in Houston, Texas also okayed smart city development. Like all across the globe, there's all these smart city developments um, all this stuff's happening, and if you notice, like, a lot of the areas that all these weird, like, phenomenons, climate change are happening, um, well, uh, heavy geoengineering, like, I can't imagine, like, fuck, once they get done spraying the skies, and they can really fuck us, they can, they can really do some damage, if you really think about it, but, I mean, honestly, you just need to get prepared for, like, the alien invasion, it's called Project Blue Beam, it's not real, it's Project Blue Beam. The government's been planning this forever. Basically because humanity is so out of whack and everybody's fighting, they have to create some kind of like world chaotic event, right? To where everybody will be unified. They're gonna come together. They're gonna sing Kumbaya. They're gonna they're gonna wanna love. And it's gonna be an alien invasion. And a lot of it will be holograms. Like if you look in Dubai and like other uh other um I don't know what's proper word to say, like uh, Asian countries, 
they have these holograms where they do things like dragons in the sky. We have Starlink. Starlink's everywhere now, right? We have all these like, you know, go to the cashier, wave your hand. Everywhere's like starting to get like biometric, like read your eyeballs. You no, know, we see we see it all happening. So to say it's like not happening is kind of stupid because you know it is. It's like, uh, what are you going to do about it? But that's the thing. People get mad like, well, why did you go? Why did you walk out? Well, fuck. I mean, it's literally, it's here. What are we going to do about it? Nothing. People are too busy worried about, can men get pregnant? Like, can men have babies? And like, can, like, God, it's so fucking trivial when you think about what's really going on on a global scale. You know, I mean, it's global. And that's part of the Agenda 23 narrative right there, you know? And when they do do, like, you know, Project Blue Beam, they will have, like, holograms, but they'll actually have the military. This is what I heard is a rumor on the internet that they will actually, they, they were saying, it's a conspiracy, that they will, like, hurt their own people to make it look like the aliens were hurting them, you know what I mean? So it's just to where, like, People will be more willing to give up everything to somebody to protect them. Kind of like, you know, you know what I mean. All right, is there anything else I could talk about? I don't know, but I'm tired. I love you guys. I just rambled a while. Oh, mm.